all week we've been covering the flooding along Edgewater Club Road in Porter's Neck. Al Katie Gardner has been back there several times this week. Today she's uncovering what she found found from what some folks were walking in. So what do you have? That's right. Well, right here I have a sample of water that has been filtered through and the results of what was found in that water. And some of you are not going to like this. You won't believe what's lurking around in the water that got in the way of your path. Over the last week, I've noticed many children swimming around in the runoff on Edgewater Club Road. So I sent a sample of that water they were swimming in to the lead chemical technology instructor, Tracy Holbrook, at Cape Fear Community College. What he and his team found in that water might surprise you. Uh, so we found a number of different components. Uh, one was a uh, component that is commonly found in prepper spray. Uh, and peppers, which give them the spiciness and the hotness. Uh, human fecal matter uh, compounds related to it. Uh, we found deer repellents, uh, squirrel repellents, frog pesticides, and a number of different diesel and petroleum and gasoline compounds as well. Holbrook also tells me that tobacco remains, along with a compound called mannitol, were found. Mannitol can put pregnant women at risk if they ingest it, depending on how much of the compound is found in the water. That's not the only health concern. There are many more. Some of the common health concerns that happen with all of these compounds that we looked for, uh, liver damage, kidney damage, uh, hair loss, respiratory problems, uh, a number of different things that can happen depending on what the compound is. It's important to note that testing could not determine how much of each compound was present in the water. But regardless, it is best to avoid contact with the flooded area if possible. And, you know, we saw a lot of issues when we were out there ourselves. You know, a lot of things floating around in the water, such as trash. And as Tracy Holbrook mentioned, he is the lead professor there at Cape Fear Community College. In testing the water, they could not determine how much of each compa uh, compound was in the water. So that could be a concern as well. Just stay away from the water. That's the best advice they can give you. Well, that water you have right there is a sample, and that looks nasty. It looks nasty. And this has been filtered through, so gross. Yeah. Well, so. Tracy Holbrook said three words that got my attention and she'll get everyone else's human fecal matter. I couldn't say Not it on air frame, but I'm glad you did. Enough said. <laughs> yeah, enough, enough said, said right? Enough said, yeah. All right, thanks so much for You're that welcome. report. Well, 